As our road tripping crews can continue to focus on this year's Alaska-made theme in their summer travels, we sent reporters Regina Fernandez and Lex Yelverton to Sitka this week. Sitka holds an historic distinction in what we now know as modern-day Alaska, as it was the official transfer site of the Alaska Purchase. So Sitka is a place of many firsts in Alaska. And just up that pathway is a very important first for the state. Welcome to Baranoff Castle Hill. The transfer of what we call modern day Alaska happened in October 18th, 1867 on this spot. Almost a century before Alaska became a state, the Russian flag was lowered from this spot after the U.S. purchased Alaska for just around two cents per acre. There's an interesting story in that the Russian flag didn't come down easily. In fact, it became entangled in the wind and they had to send somebody up to, a young man up to untangle the flag. On port days, the site can see around 4,000 visitors a day. But I think on a daily basis, you're going to see a two, 200, 300 people come up and you know, enjoy the view, to see the historic site, uh, to kind of get a better understanding of what it might have been. Although the site and view around the hill looks different from 1867, visitors can still see items left behind from the Russians. You can see the Russian cannons that are still here that they, they didn't take back with them. But it's a site that's not welcomed by everyone. When the Russians were here, they actually aimed cannons into the Klinket village, and the Klinket people had to be back by 6 o'clock every day. And so, you know, there's a, a little bit of controversy in the fact that we have cannons here that um, signify a message that a lot of the Alaskan Native people don't appreciate. And although the site represents a historical moment, Hal Speckman says when observing the site, to remember, it holds a different perspective for each visitor. We should always try to understand that there's different views regarding what happened and try to, to kind of delve into, um, you know, the, the, the true events that happened and not just gloss over them and, and think, in, think in terms of, you know, what's fun and interesting all the times. Every year on the anniversary of the transfer, folks will reenact the ceremony and they even have a parade to remember the historical moment. Wow, I guess that means we're going to have to come back and check it out when it happens in October. Most definitely. Road tripping with Alaska's news source, I'm Georgina Fernandez. And I'm Lexi Elverton. It's such a beautiful place. And for more road tripping adventures from this summer, you can head to our website, alaskasnewsource.com. There you will find an interactive map under our road tripping tab where you can follow along on our travels all around the state.